Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 29th of August and welcome to a model railway video. Yes, another one. I got all this stuff a bit sooner than I expected to be honest. Um, yeah, quite a large haul, quite a lot to get through. So I recommend get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or hot chocolate, whatever takes your fancy. Cold beer and uh, chill out for the next uh, Half an hour, three quarters of an hour, maybe even an hour, I don't know. Anyway, I'll just go over the backstory about this once more. I did go over it briefly in the last video when I showed you all the stuff I'd bought last week. Um, so, my stepdad is selling all of his double O gauge stuff because he wants to go to O gauge, which he's already started, he's already got a few bits and bobs. Bit of fluff on the track, we don't want that. Um, and he let me pick a few bits that I wanted, like locomotives and things, which are in the bottom of this box, as well as a box of box of trucks and box cars and cattle wagons and all sorts in here, which we'll go through later. Um, and today I went down there and we basically start dismantling the whole model railway. I've taken photos of the locomotives and things that you know I didn't want mainly because they were all DCC because my stepdad was into his DCC and he's doing the same with his O gauge when he gets up and running. Um, and that's no good for me on this layout and I'm quite happy with what I've got anyway. I mean I could have probably picked a bunch more but never mind. I'm happy with what I've picked. Uh, and then basically, as we were dismantling things, he was just asking me if I wanted this, that and the other. And he's give me a few bits to sort of get me going, like some grass stuff there. He did want to keep most of his, because he's going to need it for his own gauge. Which is fair enough. I'm not too fussed about that. If I need any more, I'll go buy some more. That's the thing, I... You, you can't really estimate what you're going to need for something like this. I don't think I'm going to need that much because there's not that much to build a village scene. Well, not much area to build a village scene. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the camera just so I can clear some space here and we'll do the boring bit first. We'll have a look at the buildings that I've got. Some of them I'm going to keep as is. And there's actually at least two here that I'm going to cut up and actually modify. Um, but a couple of the buildings are going to stay as is because I want them to stay as is, basically. Anyway, let me just pause the video and uh, clear some room and bring the buildings up this end. Okie dokie, we're back. And I forgot I had a bunch more than I already had on this table. So, quite a few here, but like I said, some are just going to be... Butchered, some may not even be used, I don't know yet, I just grabbed what I like the look of. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to go from there, so... I've got this sort of long barn shed thing, I might try and put that somewhere, I don't know yet. I do plan to do like a, a very small end-to-end -end layout as well somewhere, so some of these may be saved for that. So we've got that. I really haven't got the room in here to do this. Um, I've got this goods shed, as you can see, got a little platform thing, I think that's where that would go, I don't know, I can't remember. <clears throat> got a little shed that went on the end there as well. That I'm actually going to use, I'm not going to have a single loco shed anymore, I'm going to have a goods shed. So I'm, I'm going to rearrange all of that siding over the back here, again. <laughs> Um, just because I want to make sure I can actually fit this in, so I'm going to have to change some angles and things, that's all. I've got to take all that up anyway to do the wiring I need to do. Well, I've got to partially take it up, I should say. So, I do like that. <clears throat> so that was a definite keep. Um, got these little houses with shop fronts. There's the rears. I thought that would be the sort of thing you might find in a little village. Well, 
else have we got? I've got another two of these pubs. I've got three in total now. But there was a reason for that. This one needs a little bit of repair. There's at least a couple, yeah, there's a couple of windows that have come unstuck. And that sign up there has come unstuck. But uh, oh, it is alright. It looks so dark because of the angle I've got the LCD screen. Oh, that's better. You know, there's a window there that needs to be stuck in, there's one on the door that just needs to be stuck back in. But it is in bad condition in mine. What I've got to do is just make some chimney pots to go on there. So I'll probably use this one and make something with the others. But I've just noticed this one hasn't got the um, Pratt's sign up there. But yeah, one of them will get used. The other one I was actually thinking of modifying in some way, like perhaps take all of this bit off and make it look like this bit never existed, something like that. Now get artistic with it, something to practice with. Chuck that over there. Uh, I like this sort of village squarish sort of building as well. What else have we got? I have not a clue. <laughs> I'm not sure that's meant to be a house or some sort of industrial building. I don't even know if I'm going to use it because there's no back to it, so... No, I didn't steal all of his buildings. He has a whole row of low-relief buildings that he can sell on. Uh, we've got this farmhouse here. I've actually got one of these, but I'm missing the chimney stacks. So again, I've got another one here that I can modify. We'll put the two together and make one big farmhouse. Got a hotel, and one of the reasons I grabbed the hotel is because he's already added. Whoops, get it in shot, you dipstick. <laughs> he's already added lights. A little, uh, I don't know if you can see it up there, there's an LED strip. I might change that though, because I think it might be a little bit too bright for my liking. And we seem. I've lost a window, I might have to find one to replace that. Is there any more missing while I'm looking at it? No. So, lovely hotel building. I have no idea what this is, but it's falling to pieces on me. I can't remember what this is meant to be. <laughs> Town hall, maybe? The roof has fell off and there's meant to be like a little extension that's here. That's meant to go on there, but it's all come unstuck. Uh, that's alright, a bit of glue can fix that. It's not actually damaged, it's just come unglued, that's all. <clears throat> I suppose if I could find something to put over that, I could just get rid of this. The roof just needs gluing back on. There is a chimney stack missing, but I might just relocate this one into the middle or something. I don't know. There's so many things that you can do with these. Got another industrial building here. Just because. <laughs> Lots of windows. Might try and stick some lighting in that as well. There's even, I don't know if you can see him, there's even a little man in there. And the last building, apart from what's in the Nike box over there, which we'll get to in a minute, is this. A couple of little houses. And some. Uh, Broken chimney pots that I'm going to have to fix. He's given me a tin of bits and bobs, you know, the tile sheets and brick sheets and whatnot, so maybe I can find something in there. Oh, we've got this dinky little thing as well. Tiny little cottage. Tiny, tiny little cottage. Who wouldn't mind sticking a little light in there as well? A warm white light, though. I don't like cold white. It's what I might change the hotel lights for. I don't think cold white looks right. There's too many ites in that sentence. Anywho, time for this Nike box. In here I've actually got some small platform buildings. See? That one's got a bit damaged there, but I'm going to try and repair them. Several of these little buildings. I don't think I'm going to need all of these little buildings, but I've got that. Whatever I can use to stick this onto with, basically, is what I'm going to use. Probably not that one, so it's going to have to be... Which I could use those ones if I get rid of uh, that bit, which I can cut off actually with an exacto knife. But yeah, these are meant to just go on like that. I'll have to 
Mind you, that little spot is hidden up there. I'm going to have to add a few supports in there though. But yeah, I've got myself a station. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Also, in here, we've got a little uh, a weathered Hornby shed. It's just a plastic Hornby shed that you got with a lot of train sets. I've got several of these, but this one's already been weathered. I have to say, that roof is actually looking like a felt roof. It's actually looking really good. I don't know if my stepdad did that or if that's how he got it. This, I had to rescue this. This is a little something that my stepdad actually made from a load of little bits and bobs. If you look, that's the ends of a couple of wagons. It's like an oil tank, an oil bowser or a diesel bowser or something. That's what he made there. So, I've got that. I've got another little signal box. Oh, the bloke that was stuck on the step has fallen off, which is also lit up. So I'm definitely going to put this one in. Uh, I've got another little shed here. I've got quite a few little sheds like that and tree. I know it's got a plastic one and it's a pre-made tree and it's cheating, but I really don't care. It's my model, my methods. <laughs> That's the way I would see it. It's just the same as if I was looking at someone else's model, you know, it'd be their model, their methods. They can build it however they want them. I'm really not the type who would uh, slate someone else's work. I might stack these in here nicely, mate, because when we were just sorting things out, I just literally threw stuff into the boxes. These are buildings and whatnot. Gently stack these in here. I've actually got room in there. Is there anything? There is actually a couple of things lurking in here. Got a box of stuff here. Look, because my stepdad on his layout, where is it? That long um, shed thing he was using as a builder's yard. I could do something with that, I just need to stick a roof on it of some sort. And we've got another little one here, that's actually got pressed in, so I'm going to have to repair that. But they can stack in here, stack in here. I have actually got a garage somewhere, a little garage. It's in that big box, so we'll find that later. But yeah, there's a little uh, garden shed, it's actually quite heavy. Um, a skip, paper skip, which is a bit twisted. <laughs> All sorts in here. Another little Bedford van. That was mine originally and I let him have this one to use on his model railway. But I've got it back. We've got a little, um, what do they call that little, uh, was it an Anderson shelter? I can't remember. We've got a tent and there's a lot of other bits in here. Oh, while we're in here, I might as well show you these. I have got a lot of wiring to do because I've got a whole bunch of these and uh, you can actually adjust the height on these well you could but uh, it seems that one's been glued I think they've all been glued oh well there is a couple of brand new ones somewhere that he didn't actually put on the, the layout that one's still got part of the sidewalk stuck to it I think they're about the right height anyway so, oh, and in this one, while we're in here, we've got another sort of low-profile skip there. There's all sorts in here, a bit of fence, some wood, some pallets, and most of all, lots of little people. <laughs> lots and lots of little people. That is pretty much, I think there's a few animals in this tub as well. I know there's a couple of cows and a couple of ho hoses. Horses rather, not hoses. I don't know where the hell I got hoses from. I'm going to put the tent and whatnot in there because I don't want that squished. Right. Any other little buildings in here? Or do I leave it? No, let's leave it. We'll uh, bring up the next box, shall we? Put that over the back. If I find any more buildings in the main box, I'll... Uh, Put them in there. Right, so this is just basically a box of mixed rolling stock. 
Um, got a Hornby Texaco tanker. I actually don't know properly what's in here. I just saw the box and I thought, might as well just take the box, there's no point sorting through it. Um, what else have we got? Several fuel tankers. This was one of the reasons I wanted this box. So we've got, I don't know who made this one, doesn't say, but uh, the Yorkshire Tar Distilleries. I've got a tar tanker. We've got a nice shell tanker. We have got a little BP tanker, which has been weathered. I've got a couple of shell tankers that actually need um, uh, couplers. My mind went completely blank there. Yeah, they're missing the couplers, so they need some couplers fitted. I've got another United Dairies one. I've got two of these now. I think I've got two. At least two. There might be three. And from what I can see, just this Pepsi one. Which is great, because that is my favourite cola. So, I can make a train up of tankers, which I wanted to do. I prefer all the same, so I might have to get some more and, you know, get rid of these, some of these, whatever. Right, a lot of roof missing on this one. We've got some box cars in here. We've got this one, that one. Some of these are a bit broken and they need um, couplers. That one's got a bit missing. But uh, either way, if, even if I don't fix them up to use, I've got spare wheels and things, haven't I? Oh, I've got this one. So we have a prime pork. I think these came from a set originally. And we've got two prime pork with couplers. We've got the uh, Smith's Crisp Snacks and Nuts. I'm missing the roof, I'm hoping it's in this box. I can see a roof, but I know that one's not for it. I know what that's for. It's actually for a cattle wagon. Got a cattle wagon here. Again, minus some couplings. I'll have to see if I can fit some. So I've just got to glue the roof on that one. Or weather it and just use it as an old one. All spares. What have we got here? Little Express Parcels one. Have got any more? Oh yeah, that's the uh, broken one, isn't it? What's this one? Oh, we've got a Great Western one. It's actually one of my stepdad's favourite. He loves Great Western. I'm not sure why. I've actually never asked him, to be honest. But he just likes Great Western. That's what he's going for at the minute for his uh, O-Gage. He's got a couple of Great Western coaches and a Great Western loco. So, oh, we've got another one here, minus a roof. I'm sure I could actually make one. Just out of curiosity. No, it's too long. I could steal a roof off of this one. And put it on one of these. Because <laughs> it's got the couplers on it. Who made this one? Made in England. I'm going to guess Triang then. Uh, got more lurking in here, and I've got a couple more guards vans kicking about in here. There's one made by Cooper Craft. Yeah. I've got one truck here with coal in, but it's missing a set of wheels. Mind you, there is a set rolling around in here. So I'm guessing another one with no couplers. No, they are actually different colour wheels. Yeah. What else have we got? Ah! I found where those wheels came from. They came from this little truck. It came from there. There we go. Put his wheels back. So he's wheelless at the minute. Got oh, a uh, Great Western brake van. With a couple of people on it. If I can get it in shot. See? I've got quite a few of 
few brake fans. Got this one which actually has no couplers. But it has got lamp brackets. It doesn't say who it's there's actually a lot here where it doesn't say who made them. But I have to say they do feel quite cheap. Yes, and I did see you roll towards me. Quite brake van there. It's actually a darker grey to the other one. And we've got this one. It's also got the Great Western, the GW on it. No uh, couplers, but there is mounts there to put them. Got this dinky little one. Can't see it from over there, can you? I really should. I'm getting too carried away. I do apologise. There's another one. I was uh, too far away with. I think these are uh, kits. But I can't see. There is something written on there, but I can't see it. Uh, there's another one. Another truck. There's a weathered truck. Big long truck with um, a chunk of coal rattling around in it. That does not have the right couplers on it. And I don't think I can change them. This is Lima. That might be quite... Is that an old one of those couplers? That one might end up going on eBay because I can't actually use that. Or I'll take it back to Stepdad, one or the other. Nice East Valley bright blue truck. I think there is some more loose in the other box. Another guards van, or brake van, I should say. Uh, got another box car, a bent coupler, Great Western. There's another Cooper Craft. Uh, got a little flat wagon here. Again, minus couplers. Oh, it's the hook and chain type. There's a little hook on there. I haven't got no chains. <laughs> and another brake van. That one's actually got some weight to it. It's actually got a weight in it from the looks of it. You see that on the bottom? It's like it's got a weight. Yeah, we're getting there slowly. We've got another... That's probably another... Broken Cooper Craft. Perhaps I could make a little scrapyard scene somewhere with some of these. And another Great Western themed one that needs a coupler glued on. They've glued a coupler on here, Hornby coupler. That's probably what I'll end up doing here. Yeah, it's another Cooper Craft. Cattle wagon, I presume. Got a few cattle wagons now. An SR cattle wagon. Another Great Western Cooper Craft truck. I'm sure my stepdad had one of these. And look! <laughs> I can't remember what they call these, but I've got one. And that does roll around on the track. Okay, not very well, but it does roll around on the track. Right! I suppose before we get to the master box, I should stack some of these in here. And try. There you go. One of the buffers from one of these is actually rolling around in the bottom here. Let's uh, chuck that in that truck. We'll get these stacked in here, shall we? I'll pause while I do that and I'll get the other box up here. Okay. The big box. Just before we get into that though, you let me have this as well. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with that because I haven't got anywhere to... See, that spacing's not right, so I couldn't just whack it in here somewhere as a thing. I've got, I've got my track spacing too wide there. I don't know. It's actually got working red LEDs on this as well, on each gate. And the servos. I might be able to dismantle it or... I don't know. 
know where to put the damn thing. Oh, I forgot to say, I've got a couple of uh, platforms in as well, so I might change mine, I don't know yet. Right, oh yeah, I said earlier about a tin of uh, bits and bobs for buildings and whatnot. So we've got them here, see. We've got some like paving stones, I think. Uh, some different wall textures here. Spare windows, doors, I think there's even some posters in here. If they're not in here, they're elsewhere. Maybe I'll do something with these. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's see. Oh, I did leave one thing there. I left my um, track cleaner there. He uh, gave me a... Um, oh. He gave me a... Uh, a long handled one that you can run along with a load of bits as well. It also gave me a uh, repair cradle which is basically just a piece of foam. You could probably make one of these yourself. <laughs> That's all it is. You just sit your loco upside down in here and it, let, it just holds it upside down for you so you can work on it. So I can demonstrate just like that. <laughs> so I'm actually glad I've got that. Uh, few bits in this tub as well. It's mostly motors apart from these bits on top which is more sort of... Well I got this from outside the um, good shed that I showed you earlier. See just various bits of goods. A little coal bin. Oh! I'm gonna take that back to my stepdad because he wants the servos. I don't need the servos so it's just one that got missed. Um, That's a little point mower. See that? Pretty certain that's what that is. Oh, and another track rubber there. And I've got... I think... It's an X03 motor. I don't think that's an X04. It doesn't look like one. I do believe I've got an XO4 lurking in here as well somewhere. I've got some spare motors for various things. Could upgrade some with some of these motors. Uh, the Ringfield motors. I know there's a conversion you can do using CD drive motors. Anywho. Oh, there's another tub over there we haven't gone through yet. Oh well. So, here's one loco. I can't remember the class of this one. <laughs> That's a nice little one. And we've got another one here. This one's actually got working front and rear lights that change colour depending on what direction it's going. So if we say for example it was going that way, these will be white, these will be red. And if it changes direction, these change to red, these ones become white. And I believe that's a double header. Part of a double header. But uh, I've got to get everything off the top to get to it. Oh, my voice went a bit high pitched there, I do apologise. Getting a bit excited, I think. We've got a bright yellow truck. It's the second one of those I got, and I hate it. That is going to get painted. Either black or a brown. Probably a brown, actually. There's a couple more box cars here. I'm going to put those in the other box. I was just basically throwing things wherever I had space. Right, I've got a working signal, did have a working center, but sensor for this, not a center. Unfortunately, I have got the sensor, but it broke. I suppose I could buy another one. That's all it is. You just drill a hole through your base and you pop that up dead center of your tra um, track. Sorry about that. And uh, it would automatically switch the uh, signal here depending on which way your train goes over it. The sensor that is. But like I said, unfortunately we broke one of the sensors off. There's meant to be two on there, not one. But like I said, I could probably buy another one. Got a button on there. I don't know if that's a reset button in case it you know, goes belly upwards. 
I'm going to put that over here in this tub actually. I'm going to sort all this out so I've got the scenery bits in one tub. That's some more shrubbery. I've also got, I think he was pretty kind to give, oh this one's a broken one. It's meant to be a um, you know, an ele proper working electric signal but all the servo and everything broke on this one. But I have got working ones in here somewhere. Oh, and this is one thing. I'm so glad you let me have these. Look at that. Illuminated. Let's stick that tape back down because it's to stop the red showing out the back. There's a little red LED in there. And literally, all I've got to do is just put that on the end of the track. Just boop. Done. See, it's all pre-wired under there. And I've got two of these. There's another one in here somewhere. So, <laughs> I was really happy to get that. Let's pop it on the end like that. And as soon as you power up your track, the LED in the end of that will light up. I really need to put, find a box as well to put accessories like that. Right, I've got some more. You know, sheets for roof tiles. Road there. Brick. So I could make my own walls up and whatnot if I wanted to. See, that really needs to go with that metal tin. I kept these as well. When he took them down, some walling that separated the uh, road and sidewalk from the one of his sidings, actually, that he had his DMU on. Right. I've got another one of them Cooper Craft trucks. Obviously, I didn't want that one. Right. Oh, I know what that is. We've got some more of this stuff that's got to go. With all the other artsy bits. I'm not very artistic, so... But I don't mind learning. I've also... Got a bag of um, ballast. Obviously, it's no good for his, because it's small. <laughs> a bit small for O gauge, so I've got a bag of ballast as well. I don't know how far that's going to go, but um, making your own electronic circuits. I've got some Vero board now. There's a tub of random bits I put together. I've got a water thingy. It does help if I get my hand out of the way. Got a Land Rover. I actually bought this originally for his layout at a car boot sale. I've now ended up with it. These are the sheds that go over those points. I've already got a couple of them. There's a few other bits and bob spares in here. Some, some couplers actually. <laughs> Speaking of needing couplers, there's a couple. Uh, there's a couple of cars here. Telephone box. He's actually got another one of these, but I didn't think I really needed to. Ah! Here's the base that uh, these sit on. So that would go on top like that. Then you can decorate this up and whatnot. And uh, hide your point. And what we got there? Got some brushes, springs, bushings, and a couple of point switches that go underneath because I think I've got a couple of areas I could use these on. Might be a bit bastard to fit but there's a few gear wheels in here. There's another one of these. Just a standard Hornby one. That you could still use. You could cut that square off the bottom and just paint it brown and stick it down. That's why I've kept them. Genuine old cor Corgi. Is that a Hornby? Nope. It's a Triang signal. Not the old manual one. I had to rescue that. And that's about it. And there's a few spare gears. Oh, and another Husky vehicle. Because they're... Apparently he used these because these were close to the scale that... You know, this all is. The um, O-gauge scale. 176 scale, that's it. That's the scale. O-gauge is the gauge. I'm not trying to bloody remember that. Let's just chuck these bits back in there. Ooh. 
I can see Loco. Zap. Ah, the garage. I told you I had a little garage. <laughs> Where's my box of little buildings? That is over there. I've got like a little uh, ticket booth thing. Like I said, I do want to... Uh... There's another one of those little trucks. Again, missing couplers, but I think with a little self-tap where I could put some uh, Hornby couplers on. <clears throat> I've lost the thread on what I was talking about then. I have now got a wheel cleaner! <laughs> I can tell it's been used quite a bit, but... I just thought that might make life a little bit easier. You know, you literally just lay it on there, then you clip these on your track for power. Simple. So, I've got a few tools. Uh, I've got a couple of locos that need repair. We'll get to those in a minute. I don't remember putting this in here. I seem to have acquired one. And this appears to be a warship. The Dragon. It is a warship, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Huh. This might be our green one. Is this a Lima? Yeah, I thought it was because it's light. So one thing I don't like about Lima locomotives, they're quite light. I'd have to add a bit of weight to that, I think. Does it work? I have absolutely no idea. But I seriously do not remember putting this in the box. Hmm. Oh, got a little British Rail track. Scammel, I think that is. Does it say what it is underneath? Nope. Doesn't even say who made it. <laughs> uh, I couldn't resist, a <laughs> green goddess. I don't think he really wanted to let that one go, but he did. Right. Oh, we're nearly to the locos, so you'll be pleased. Got some linesmen unopened. Uh, oh. That's another thing I don't remember putting in here. I'm sure I didn't put that in here either. Or did I? I might have done because it's got LMS on it. So I may have put that one in to go with my LMS train that I want to put together. I've already got a couple more coaches coming for that. And I've got the loco. I'll put that in here as well. With all the other trucks and things. I'm just trying to do all the loose stuff on top before I get to the locomotives. Right. There's my old shell one of my old 08s because the uh, base for that was knackered and that was knackered right so <laughs> I've got a bit of a jigsaw puzzle here but it is fixable I think there's the motor there's the locomotive um, yep yeah, this has got lights and whatnot in it it's got a few other loose bits in it as well this looks like it's got directional lights as well in hiding in here, as well as that end bit that lights up the number. But... Oh, look at that! My stepdad has actually modified this motor with a thingy one from a CD drive. So, really, all I would need to do is run that black and red wire from this one to here, I then find out where I've got to stick those wires for the lights because they're directional. Okay, so that shouldn't, yeah, I say shouldn't, that shouldn't be too difficult to uh, get back together. And I think that's a class 47. Yeah. So that's one non running jigsaw puzzle. 
and the wheels have fell out of that one. <laughs> right. Oh, we've got another, ooh, an LMS box van. I haven't got much LMS uh, stock like that, if any at all. I can put that with all my other trucks and things. Alright, I've got a couple of lorries here. For some reason, they both rattle. They're both exactly the same, just different colours and different beers on them. I don't think I'll have these on the layout, though. Oh, okay. The cab has just moved on that one. I don't know who made them, but they don't feel like they're a Hornby or anything. They just feel cheap and plasticky. A bit like the shell one. Which um, I do like, because it's got the thing on the back, so you can see all the pump and everything in it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I like that enough to put on the layout, so... What's that? Oh, some connectors. Wire connectors. They're not interesting. <laughs> this little thing as well for setting up the uh, point motors that go underneath. Make sure you get it all in the right place. And I had to rescue that as well. Because my mum and stepdad are actually Heartbeat fans, and so was I. I actually used to love watching Heartbeat, so we nicknamed this PC Bellamy's Police Car. It's a bit dusty, and yes, that blue LED does work. All I would have to do is drill a hole through the table to put them wires in, like that, and just hook some power up to it, and the um, blue LED on the top there will flash away. It's a little bit oversized, though, but... Sure, that don't matter. There is, when I can remember where that went, I have got a fire engine as well that does the same thing. But I'm just wondering, as I haven't seen it in any of these boxes, if I've actually uh, left that down there. Anyway, we have a track cleaning wagon. It's actually got track, track maintenance department on there. He did have a few, but well, I know one of them that he had was really, really expensive, so I chose that one. Besides, I actually like that one better. I know I'm weird. Now, yeah, I nabbed that one, because I've already got one, I think. It might actually be a different colour now that I've looked at it. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I just realised that's a brake coach as well. And I grabbed these because... I like the look of these. Uh, network South East. So I just need to find a loco that would uh, actually go with these. And I think I've got four. No, I've got a different one here that I didn't realise. Oh, no. That just looks newer for some reason. It's a lot cleaner. But it is a network South East brake coach. So we've got coach, coach, brake coach. Uh, yeah, I was right, it is a rake of four. Yeah, another one. Actually, that one looks like another brake coach. Made in Great Britain. Hornby, I think, looking at that. Yeah, I just thought these looked quite interesting and something a bit different, so I'm going to have to put these back in here though, because I've got a lot of room over here. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I could have swore that was a dummy coach, but it seems to go with this one. Because both of these have only got a coupler on one end, so I've got a feeling you're meant to... Well, you can double head them like that, I think. Well, they are just two different things. That's why I'm going to find this has got DCC in it or something. Hang on a minute. I might find out. What the 
hell are you doing? No, nope, this one is not working, so I have to look into that one. Oh. Yeah. That ain't good. That might be why this one wasn't used. No, this one has had a motor upgrade though. But I can't see no wiring for a DCC chip. find out why that thing has popped off though. I can't get the freaking doodah back in. There we go. Oh, isn't it isn't in uh, very good condition. And it doesn't work. <laughs> he is actually sitting on my locos. I can't get him out of the box, he won't move. So, look what I've got for my Class 37 inner city train. We've got the parcels. I have also got Class 37 eh? I don't think this one runs. I couldn't see any DCC chipping in it, so. I found that one either. And that's just, uh, I know this one works, so I'm just gonna. Get yeah, controllers working. See the lights on it, and they actually stay on even when I turn the thing, the dial off. The other one did not, so I've got a few that need repair work, obviously. Right, lastly I've got a couple of DMUs. Got this one, because I do like the DMUs. And this one is a Hornby. Isn't that nice? One DMU and just reach around him. Here's the other one, which is a little bit rough on the end there. <sighs> Got numerous hair stuck to it, but there's one. Yeah. That's better. See, it's a bit rough on that end, but it's another Hornby one. Let's see if it runs. Some of these have not ran since, well, since he's had them, so. I saw it twitch. I saw that twitch when I put the controller on. Probably gonna want a good service. So another one he converted to a uh, CD drive motor. Well, Dill set some cables up and uh, crocodile clip cables, that is, and I'll put them directly on the motor contacts and make sure the motor itself does run. See if this one works. Bit jerky, dirty wheels. Yeah. It's probably the problem with a lot of these, they just need a good clean. Those two can go up there. That's my other DM Ewell. Carry out some servicing on. That one I've got to try and rebuild. And this one. Can I get the. Oh, 
But that might be why it's not working. There's no wires. <laughs> no pickup wires. Which I think go down to this bogey, don't they? Yeah, and uh, one's been cut, so I'm going to have to find a fix for that. Should be able to connect onto that one. But uh, if I can sort these wires out, we should be golden. I'll have another 37 to run. These are interesting coaches, I like these. Uh, I suppose we better try the Lima. Twitched. I need a good clean as well, I think. But yeah, it does work. Actually, I think with a run around the track and some clean wheels and maybe a bit of a service on the old mower, we'll be good. That feels so light and horrible. <laughs> Anywho, no, not quite. <laughs> Just looked over here, we've got a pot here, haven't we? Got some spare bits and bobs in here. Spare motorised boogie. Base for one of those um, shed covered plants. A mould for doing um, coal for uh, the tops of the trucks. Um, that is pieces for a rolling road for when you're testing locos. There's some fences, there's an electronic uh, decoupler that I could put in and use. Some transfers for signs. Don't remember putting the buffer in there, don't know where that came from. I know I've got another couple of those. Um, a kit to put lighting into a coach. Got a few other bits of ornaments and whatnot in here, and some fencing, and another little shed, track cleaning fluid. Those were track cleaning cloths, by the way. Uh, I've actually got quite a lot of stone wall in here as well. Um, that's about it. There's a couple of hay bales, there's a couple of these little trucks that can get on platforms, and these are. Uh, dummy point motor switches you know when they would uh, on the real track the train would run over these trigger these and that would trigger the point up ahead or a signal or something like that I think, uh, oh I've got a couple of chimney pots in here that might come useful switch and some more of these uh, I rescued these. These were homemade street lights that my stepdad made. <laughs> There's a couple of them. And a couple more of these Hornby shacks as well. I said I've got loads of these now. That's about it for that tub. But for some reason I've not found the second light up thingy. In fact, there's a couple of th a lot of things I've I seem to be missing. Actually, I should have another one of these or another two of these in working order that I cannot find. So, no idea where they are. There's no more boxes up here. There's no more boxes down in the shed. Hmm. I'm going back down to Mum's tomorrow, so I'll have a look. I may have uh, left them in there, or they may have fallen out somewhere. No, I know they're not in there. They're not in the box. Nemo's in. They're not in that box. And I'm 
pretty certain all I threw in here was shrubbery and some fences. Yeah, I need have some shrubbery. Oh, oh, oh no! I actually threw them in here. So we've got some used fences. There it is. There's one of them. If I wanted to, I could get all the circuitry and whatnot and have a working signal. Although I think I might just have these, you know, set up uh, just as scenery. Something else here as well. Or oh, track speed limit numbers, unused. Yeah, apart from that, there's a horse in the bottom here as well. So I found Mr. Horse. <laughs> I'm going to put him in that other pot. Nope, it's just bounced out. There's the other signal. So I've got two of those now. Ah! There's the other buffer. With the uh, illuminations. Got to put that bit of black tape back on there. It's just to cover the back of the LED up so it only shines forwards. I might try a bit of black paint there. And here's another fire engine. Which should have flashy blue lights on the roof. I don't think I'm really going to bother with that, to be honest. Quite chunky wires on there as well. I don't know why I used uh, wires quite that thick. But yeah, I've got uh, plenty of fencing and walls and fencing. That was the other thing that I haven't found either. There should be a little Ziploc bag with a couple of unused streetlights in it. Doubt they're going to be in the bottom of this. Now it is just uh, trees and bushes and lots of these like little fruit trees. Another one there. Isn't there? Nemo's decided he's just going to sleep with the rest of the shrubbery. So I'll get that out of his way. And uh, of course he's decided to sleep there. Possibly. <laughs> I've now got nowhere to uh, put my locos. Oh, I haven't shown you what's in this yet, have I? It is flower beds that he never got to use. Because he uh, changed. We're actually talking about that today. You know, because he's, my, my brother came in and said, you know, everything is all different. And my stepdad went again. I said, well, when you're a modeler, things change. You think of new things, you come up with new ideas, you decide you might want to change everything altogether and start again. So, I mean, my Lego City has been built several times and it's now undergoing renovation again. So, well, that's a lot easier to do it with Lego. A lot easier. Are you comfortable in there? Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. So, <sighs> thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, a shot a bit better. I will uh, talk to you again in the next one. Bye.